Alice was tired of having nothing to do while her sister was busy reading a book that didn't have any pictures in it. What good is a book without pictures? Even Alice's cat Dinah was bored. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have the time? Well, not exactly, but I should think somewhere afternoon. Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. Too late for what? <gasps> Wait! <laughs> As Alice followed after the white rabbit, it occurred to her that she had never before seen a rabbit with either clothes or a watch. But by then, she was already burning with curiosity. Having nothing else to do, she decided to follow the rabbit down the hole, never considering how she might get out again. Oh, I must be getting near the center of the Earth, at least to Australia. Poor Dinah, she'll miss me so very much. I do hope someone remembers her saucer of milk. Oh, my ears and whiskers, how late it's getting. that table perhaps I can leave after all
much too tall to get inside. Oh, if only I could close up like a telescope. How curious. Drink me. Let's see, what was it that Mother said? Oh yes, don't drink anything that's poison. But it isn't marked poison. And it smells good. Tastes good too. Sort of a cherry tart, custard, pineapple roast, turkey, toffee, hot buttered toast kind of taste. Mmm. No! Now I know what a candle feels like. What if I should burn out altogether? At least I'll be able to go into the garden. Oh no! I never seem to be the right size anymore. Where did that come from? Spice? Yuck! I hate spice! But if I eat it, maybe I'll grow tall enough to reach the key. And if I grow smaller, I can creep under the door. Either way, I'll get out of here and into the garden. So I don't care which happens. get dry. We'll catch our death if we don't. We'll catch our death if we don't. I just said that. I just said that. Sit down, both of you! I'll soon make you dry enough. We'll have a caucus race! A caucus race? Don't 
Don't worry, Alice, it's all in fun. No, no one loses. No, no one wins. Around and round the mad crowd spins. Run, Alice, run. Go, Alice, go. Where is she going? She doesn't know. Run, Alice, run. Go, Alice, go. Where did they go to? She doesn't know. So my fur and whiskers, I'll never get there in time! Mr. Rabbit, sir, I need to get home. Don't we all? He really is rude for a rabbit. If I ever catch that slippery cottontail, I'll give him a piece of my mind, all right. almost live here myself. Hmm. Perhaps this will make me grow large again. For I am quite tired of being such a tiny little thing. That's large enough, I should think. What's that in my window? It's an arm, Your Honor. An arm, you goose? But who ever saw one that size? Look out! Huh? It's an arm, all right. And it's got no business in my house. Now take it away! No! You can't take it away! It's mine! It's me! Alice! Sure, I don't like it, Your Honor. At all, at all. This ought to do it. Look, now put it up in that corner. Dear me, what are they planning to do? Here, Bill, catch hold of this roof. Will the roof hold? Mind that loose. 
slate! Look out below! I can't catch it! Go down the chimney, then. You do it! Do as I say, you coward! You heard the master, Bill! Best you go down the chimney! Poor Bill. They seem to put everything upon him. But I must protect myself. Here I go! Sorry, Bill, but it's you or me. How are you, old fellow? What happened? Yeah, tell us all about it. Oh, something came up at me like a jack-in-the-box and up uh, by goals like a skyrocket. We must burn the house down, then. I heard that. If you do, I'll set Dinah on you. Oh, my. I better do something quick. That cake again. It can't possibly make me any bigger. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Exactly sure at present. I was this morning, but I've changed several times since then. Explain yourself. I'm afraid I can't. Being so many different sizes in a single day is terribly confusing. It is not. Well, someday you'll turn into a butterfly, and I expect you'll feel quite different then. I think not. Come up here. I have something important to ask you. do you wish to be? Well, I should like to be a little larger. Three inches is such a wretched height to be. To the contrary. Three inches is a very good height indeed. Oh, goodness. Oh, I didn't mean to offend you. But I'm not used to it. You'll get used to it in time. I don't want to get used to it. In that case, one side will make you grow taller. The other side will make you grow shorter. The other side of what? The mushroom! But a circle doesn't have two sides. Yes, it does! But which side does what? Wrong side. Where have my shoulders gone to? Oh no! I can't see my hands either! Damn it! I am not a serpent. Oh! <laughs> 
a wink of sleep in three weeks. I'm truly sorry you've been annoyed, but just as I take it to the safety of the highest tree in the woods, you come wriggling down out of the sky. Oh, serpent! Now listen here. I am not a serpent, and I am not looking for eggs, especially your eggs. I genuinely dislike them, Ra. I'm just a little girl who wants to go home. Bad likely story indeed. I've seen a good many little girls in my time. But never one with such a neck as yours. I grant you that my neck is unusually long for a girl, but this is merely a temporary situation. I hope. Well, be off then! And if you see any other serpents, don't tell them where I am! I won't. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, this way! Ma, ow, ow, ow. Oh. Oh. Serpents! How can I see serpents if I can't even see my feet? I almost forgot! Taller! Shorter! Taller! Shorter! Oh, which is which? Oh. Ow! Almost. Now, if only I knew which way to go from here. That depends entirely on where you want to get to. I don't care much where, as long as I get somewhere. Oh, you're sure to do that, if you walk long enough. What sort of people live around here, Cheshire Puss? If you don't mind me calling you that. I don't mind. In that direction lives a hatter. In that direction lives a March Hare. Visit either. They're both mad. But I don't want to be around mad people. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. Well, how do you know I'm mad? You must be, or you wouldn't be here. Well, I do wish you wouldn't disappear like that. It's not as easy as it looks. Are you playing croquet with the queen today? I should like it very much, but I haven't been invited. You will be. See you there. <laughs> oh, I must say, I've often seen a cat without a grin, but never a grin without a cat. <laughs> That's the most curious thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. <laughs> now then, I've seen hatters before, so the March Hare will be much more interesting. And since this is May, it won't be as raving mad as it was in March, I should think. You should say what you mean, you know. I do. At least I mean what I say. Well, that's the same thing. Not the same thing a bit. Butter. You might just as well say that I see what I eat is the same as I eat what I see. Or that I like what I get is the same as I get what I like. But it's not. Or that I breathe when I sleep is the same as I sleep when I breathe. It's all the same with you. Pass the butter. Perhaps they'll be kind enough to direct me home. But I mustn't frighten them like I did the mouse. Pardon me, but... No room, no room, go away! But there's plenty of room. Very well. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Oh, I love riddles. I believe I can guess that. Do you mean you think you can find out the answer to it? Exactly. Then you should say what you mean. I do. May I have some tea? I shall help myself then. 
<laughs> what day of the month is it? The fourth, I believe. Mm, two days wrong. What a funny watch. It tells the day of the month, but not what time of day it is. Why should it? Does your watch tell you what day it is? The Dormouse is asleep again. <laughs> Did she answer the riddle yet? I'm sorry. I've quite forgotten the riddle. <gasps> Why is a raven like a writing desk? I give up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. Nor I. That's the better. I think you might do something better with your time than wasting it asking riddles that have no answers. I want a clean cup! I know. Let's draw. What shall we draw? We'll draw things that begin with the letter M. The letter M? Like mousetrap. Which catches the mouse. M is for mammoth, big as a house. M is for monkeys, who live in the trees. M is for moose, moose, with great knobby knees. M is for magic, which catches the eye. M is for monsoon, big as the sky. M is for magpies, who live midst the leaves. M is for mongrels, scratching their fleas. M is for mongoose, which catches the snake. M is for manatee, big as a lake. M is for mackerel, who live in the sea. M is for monsters, monsters? who do what they please. M is for madness, it's plain to see. M is for misplaced, mixed up me. Catches the mouse. M is for mammoth, big as a house. M is for monkeys who live in the trees. M is for moose, moose with great knobby knees. M is for magic, which catches the eye. M is for monsoon, big as the sky. M is for magpies who live midst the leaves. M is for mongrels scratching their fleas. M is for mongoose, which catches the snake. M is for manatee, big as a lake. M is for mackerel, who live in the sea. M is for monsters, monsters? who do what they please. M is for madness, it's plain to see. <laughs> M is for misplaced, mixed up me. You forgot much. Really? Have you ever seen a drawing of muchness? I don't think... If you can't think, then you shouldn't talk. And if you can't speak nicely to me, then don't speak to me at all. <coughs> that does it. This is the stupidest tea party I was ever at. I'm leaving. Mr. Rabbit, sir, wait! Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! It's nearly begun! Oh dear! Things get curiouser and curiouser. Aha! I 
she'll do it proper this time. First the key, now become the right size. Mm -hmm. I'm getting good at this. Blaming me. That's right, Five. You're always laying the blame on others. You'd better not talk, Three. I heard the Queen say only yesterday you deserved to be beheaded. What for? Sorry to disturb you, but would you mind telling me why you're painting those roses? Well, you see, Miss, this should have been a red rose tree, but we planted a white one by mistake. And if the Queen was to find out, we would all have our heads cut off. Isn't that a little harsh? The Queen! The Queen! The Queen! The Queen! Child. My name is Alice, Your Majesty. And who are these? How should I know? I'm just a visitor. How dare you not answer my question? Oh, with the head! Consider, my dear, she is only a child. So true. Do you play croquet, dear? Yes, I adore croquet. Come then, join our game. It's, it's a very fine day, don't you think? Very. Except that the Queen is so dreadfully fond of beheading people, it's a wonder there's anyone left at all. Hush! Oh, 
dear. <laughs> How are you getting on? Cheshire Puss. Who else? I don't think they play at all fairly. There are no rules. At least if there are, nobody attends to them. How do you like the queen? Not at all. She's so extremely... Who are you talking to? It, 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 it's, a, it's a friend of mine. Allow me to introduce him. I don't like the look of it at all. However, it may kiss my hand if it likes. I'd rather not. Don't be impertinent. Off with his head! As the executioner, I'm afraid it's impossible to cut off a head unless there's a body from which to cut it off. To, to the contrary, anything with a head can be beheaded. If something isn't done this instant, I'll have everybody's head cut off. Bye-bye. They're gone! They're gone! Her Majesty's tarts are gone! Read the accusation. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts and took them quite away. No, it's not true! Silence! Uh, have you reached your verdict? Not yet, not yet. There's a great deal to come before that. Call your first witness. Alice. Me? Are you Alice? Well, yes, but I... Come up here this instant before I have you executed! What do you know about this business? Nothing. That's very important. Excuse me, Your Majesty, but don't you mean unimportant? Important, unimportant, important, unimportant. Oh, well, never mind. What are tarts made of? Well, my mother makes all kinds. Raspberry, boysenberry, loganberry, strawberry. <gasps> Peach, apricot, cherry. Oh, cherry's my favorite. Oh, my. Stop doing that. You've got no right to grow here. Well, you're growing, too. Well, yes, but I'm growing at a reasonable pace. Off with her head! Uh, rule 42. All persons more than a mile high must leave the court. I'm not a mile high. You are. Nearly two miles. Off with her! I shan't go. No matter. Consider the verdict. Your Majesty, I've just been given more evidence. A letter written by the prisoner. I didn't write that! Oh, why, this isn't even a letter. It's a set of verses. Please, Your Majesty, I didn't write it. There's no name signed at the end. Then you must have meant some mischief, or else you'd have signed your name like an honest man. It doesn't prove anything of the sort. You haven't even read the verses. A secret kept from all the rest between yourself and me. <laughs> there you are. What more do we need? Let the jury consider the verdict. No, no. Sentence first, verdict afterwards. That's ridiculous. Besides, the tarts are right there. Why, so they are. Oh, dear me, dear me. Were they there all the time? Stuff and nonsense. The idea of having the sentence first. Hold your tongue, young lady. I will not. What can you possibly do to me? 
You're nothing more than a pack of playing cards. Wake up! What a long sleep you had. Oh, Ada, what a curious dream I had. It's time for tea, dear. You can tell me all about it. Once inside, Alice told her sister about her curious adventure in Wonderland. As she did, Ada thought about how silly Alice was to be telling such tales and had to smile to herself when she thought of the wild imaginations the children have. Anything 